Hey, Luke and Nathan here with the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. And today we're catching shad and fishing for catfish. Woo! Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Catfish and Carp. And today we're gonna try something new. We are gonna get the kayak out and go fishing for shad and catfish. And I've got my little boy, Nathan here, who has fallen asleep holding the straps to the kayak. But uh, we're gonna get the kayak off the top, wake him up and get out there because I have already seen a lot of fish jumping. I think it's gonna be a good day. Well, I'm gonna be fishing for shad and I'm gonna be fishing for catfish here. So to rig up for the shad, I've got just a simple weighted jig head, like a little crappie rig and I've got some of these little squid tails here. I threw in a couple extra colors into the bag, but I'm gonna start off with these flaming midnight blue and chartreuse uh, curly tailed grubs. And we're gonna see how the shad feel about that. Uh, real fun fish to catch, and they, they come into the ri rivers once a year, so now is the time. The shad don't get bigger than a couple pounds, so I've got a five and a half foot ultralight rod from Field and Stream, and I got a Lose Mr. Trout reel with six pound line on it. Perfect for this type of fishing. For catfish, I've got a Cabela's Mag Touch rod. Awesome, awesome rod. It's got an Abu Garcia Revo inshore, uh, low profile reel with 40 pound spider wire on it, eight aught circle hook, two ounce egg sinker, um, my personal best flathead, 53 pounds, I caught on this rod and reel setup. It is small and delicate, but very strong. And I brought another uh, dock demon here for uh, Nathan. Speaking of Nathan, let's go wake him up. Nathan, got a fishing rod for you. Yeah, look at this. Is that cool? These little leashes are awesome. Great for keeping kids from throwing stuff in the water. And in case your kayak flips, keeps all your stuff from going in the water. All right, buddy, you ready? <laughs> Sit down on your pad. You good? jig on and they don't seem too interested. I would totally mooch that off you. Shamelessly. It's a pump into us. It's called a pet spoon. Oh yeah, I've seen those. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate this. Alright, those guys over there totally hooked me up. They're just slaughtering them. So uh, they gave me one of their lures here. A lot bigger than what I'm using, a lot heavier. And they're fishing it low and slow. So we're gonna slow down our troll and try that out. You paddle, I'll, I'll fish. Oh, you wanna reel him in? I got one. No. You wanna reel him in? All right. No. <laughs> it's a oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hickory Shad, right there, folks. Yeah. Bye bye. Trolling for hickory shad is a great technique for little kids. 
uh, you know, all he's got to do is just hold the rod and then when it bends over, reel in a fish. It's really a simple, fun way to get a lot of hickory shad. And it's really effective too. Okay, Nathan, hold on to this. Hold on to that tight. There's going to be a fish grabbing. There you go. You got one. Hold him up. He's feisty. Oh, Keep reeling, man. buddy. Woo! Oh, he jumped in the boat. Your fish jumped in the boat. Look at that. He jumped in the boat. That's crazy. Oh, look at this. David. Jeez, look at that. There's Bye, fish. Bye, fish. Woo, what a feisty fish. Oh, you got a fish. You got a fish. Yeah. Reel him in. Oh, keep going. You got him. You got him, Nate. You got him. Yeah. Wow, look at that. El monstruo. Say cheese. Say cheese. All right. Yeah, come put it back. There we go. When you're fishing for hickory shad, locating them is really easy. They're just all over the place and you can see them jumping. So just go and aim for the places where you see tons of fish jumping out of the water. Oh, you got one? Daddy, you got a big one. Oh, you got another big one. Oh, oh he spit the hook. Good for you, buddy. You having fun, bud? Yeah. All right, let's get them back. Woo! Well, we caught about a dozen hickory shad and just had a ball doing it, but uh, I want to try some catfish. So I'm going to try jigging for some catfish, but the wind and current is so ferocious. Look at this. I am just sitting still and look at that. I am drifting like two miles per hour just doing nothing. So this is going to be a little tricky, but uh, we're going to give it a go. For bait, I'm going to use some frozen gizzard shad. Now just remember, gizzard shad are different than hickory and American shad. American and hickory shad are actually herring. These are true shad. Plus, here in Virginia, the gizzard shad you're allowed to use for bait. The hickory and American shad have very, very strict regulations. That's why we're doing catch and release. Okay. There you go. Yeah, hold on, there's some big fish in here. Yeah, they're fun to catch, man. They fight like... Oh, hey, Nathan, 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 you got one. You got one, buddy. You got one. Come on. Up. Pull him up. Pull him up. Pull up. Pull up. Lift it off the rod. Lift it off the rod. I see him. Yeah, I see him. Oh. Oh, I saw him. Daddy. That's my big shadow Please. Good job, man. Yeah. Here, give him a good push. Push. <laughs> there he's gone. And we were just drifting along and Nathan's rod goes wonk. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Yeah, you Alright, you wanna do another one? Your rod tip up like you did with the Look at that. Oh, 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 yeah. You got the bud? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was a big blue catfish, huh? Woo! There we go, another nice blue catfish. Daddy, you want to put him back? Yeah. Look at look at his mouth. He's got leeches on his chin. These are leeches. They're trying. All right, here you go, guys. I got the Oh, keep your rod tip up. Keep your rod tip up. That was a big bite, Nate. That was a big bite. Oh, he stole your bait, buddy. That was a big bite. Oh, look at that, Nathan. Yes, boy. Yeah, look at that. That is that is serious. Yeah. Big one? Yeah. Ooh. Like you. Uh -huh. it's Another beautiful blue catfish. Let's put him back. The reason why I chose this spot to drift for catfish is really simple. We've got a pretty featureless wide flat bottom with not a lot going on. 
but there's a slight shelf right on top of, right beneath where we were drifting. It goes from about 10 feet down to about 16 feet. And I'm just drifting along the top of the shelf. It's pretty much the only feature around here. So, oh, it's a pretty easy place to choose. And, and if you don't have a fish finder, which, which I don't, you can feel the difference, the change in depth by bouncing your lead on the bottom. You're sitting there drifting along and it's 10 feet. And all of a sudden, whoop, about a rod length worth of line just disappears and it's deeper. So uh, those dips and ledges are great spots to hit when drifting. And if you can go right along them, that's ideal. Oh yeah, this one's, this one's acting like a big fish. Woo! <laughs> oh, not much bigger, but he's still oh, here, so feisty. What is, how was he caught? There we go. I think he was just tangled in his whiskers. That was hilarious. I think his whiskers were just tangled. He was, the hook wasn't even in his mouth. Oh, this is just a wonderful time of year. When the shad come up into this part of the river, the catfish go bonkers. What, like I always tell you guys, follow the bait fish. You know? The bait fish are thick as thieves up in this river. You know the catfish are gonna be too. Step around, keep... yeah. You got him, you're gonna it's, get him. It's a yeti. It's a yeti? Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's the yeti, the yeti fish. You got it? Yeah. I got them. Yeah, keep, keep reeling. Look at this. I got the red one. Oh my goodness. It's He's a huge. Woo. Woo. Smile, buddy. You caught him. You want to see him make a big splash? Woo. <laughs> 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 why we have the leash. <laughs> that, that fish took your dog even in the water. Feisty <laughs> 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 one. That is a, a nice blue catfish on the dock, Demon. Yeah. Not too shabby at all, huh? That's mine. Yeah, it was on your rod. Uh, I think this guy's pushing 12, 15 pounds. Nice fish. Daddy. Yeah. Well, guys, this has been real fun. We've caught some great catfish and a load of shad. Um, we've been out for probably about two, three hours. It's a, a Monday. I got off work a little early and we're getting to do this. I mean, can spring get any better than hanging out in a kayak with your three-year-old and just landing fish after fish? <laughs> it's great. I'll tell you what guys, trolling and drifting for catfish is the hottest new thing with tournament fishermen, but kayak fishermen have been doing it for years and it is absolutely a kick in the pants. Uh, it's a great way to find fish works particularly well with blue catfish. So if you haven't tried it, go out and do a little drifting, uh, preferably when the wind's not as strong as it is today, and uh, really find some great fish. For drifting to really work well, you need a spot with consistent depths and not a lot of snags, obviously. Flooded reservoirs can be tricky this way, but large, flat, wide rivers work really well. Well, it's time to go home, guys. Uh, both my rigs are trashed, and Nathan keeps asking about when we're going home. He's almost out of snacks, so it's, it's time to go. But uh, I still have my nice little shad lure there, and I'm gonna cast it out, and uh, I'm gonna try to catch one or two more shad before we, we call it. Yeah, we're going home, bud. for impact. Well, that was an absolutely fabulous way to spend a Monday afternoon. Did you have a good time, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Well, I hope you guys learned a few things and uh, 
Hope you enjoyed this video. It's nice to get out and break from the routine and try something from a kayak. And uh, just had a great time. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, we've got tons of great playlists with all of our different videos organized by topic. So, check that out. Thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to click subscribe.